so my friend who goes to my school um, did it last year and he really enjoyed it and he's like, oh, and you should come out and do it. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And I am having a lot of fun. To be honest, I didn't really know much about jazz and improv. And from this, my improv game is so much higher now, it's insane. When I'm improving, there's these two five one chords, and before I came here, I you know knew about them, but I didn't really know what to do when I found them. Now I, I realize what I can do, specifically the music theory class where we just talked about like what you can do. That really just opened up my head. And then right after that, we would go to the improv class, and I would try to take the ideas from the music theory class that I just learned and apply them in my improv class, which I found that really helpful because I came from one and then just went straight and applied it to the next thing. The faculty is great and you will learn so much here, one-on-one -on -one or very focused on you interaction with the teachers. They really help show you the way that you should play and how you can be a better musician. Before this week, I didn't really do much combo work, so small jazz groups, but each person got put in a combo and with that mentality, you have to figure out what you're doing within your group. It really helps you to see like oh, this is how like a real jazz musician is. A lot of the uh, older kids have really actually helped me and explained like, this is how you should play this way. Because, I mean, they're very knowledgeable too. They're, you know, better than me. So I take my information from them and apply it to my own playing. Before I started, I didn't really see myself as a super, super strong jazz player. But now I'm really seeing like, oh, I think I can understand this if I just put in time to focus on jazz and how I can play better.